type of mini game in mini world right so let's just quickly go to the overview of what we are going to do today so here this is our tutorial maps and if we go to the plugin menus like I showed you yesterday and we go to props uh, there's nothing yet but if we click on add you will see I have prepared five different items here is it five one two three yeah five different items but actually there's only four because this one will go with the gun so um, so yeah today we will we will learn about like the top five items that will level up your Poco gameplay experience so if you have these items in your maps the gameplay of your Poco map will be more competitive like you want it to be more competitive so player actually want to win the map not just um, um, just chilling around and just slowly jump through each step so we will go through each of this and I will show you what it can do how you can make this and some advanced um, custom plugin as well for today right so you need to first create the items and then you need to add it in the maps and then you can go in the maps and use it so I will just quickly show you what each of this does and then we will we will um, learn how to make the items right so you go to this tab and right here you get oh wait there's Nezuko here right so uh, maybe we we'll use Nezuko as um, our <laughs> test subject our lab rat maybe just maybe so we actually don't need this like I said because this is actually the um, the armor to the, the ammo to this gun right here right so we will have four of these then we will test it out so what each of these does so we have the magic room right here so the magic room is for um, pushing the um, all the players off the track but since there's no player in the tutorial maps I will uh, I will just uh, use um, uh, an animal <laughs> or a monster to try this out right so we will pick the uh, the pick I don't know why but <laughs> I like the pick okay so let's use the pick for our example so we place a pick here so you you just need to uh, keep in mind that this is a pick but you can also use this item for real players in your maps like for example if there's a player here and you and the players are on both on the same platform so you're on the same step but you want to win the the, the mini game, the Paco mini games. So what you need to do is you need to uh, either eliminate your opponent or slow him down, he, he or she down. So with this magic room right here that I already set up, I can push my opponent off the track. So let's just try. It. Okay, there we go. So it's it's actually works. So as you can see, the pig fly really far and. It also apply for real players so if I use this on a real player in range within range that player will be knocked back off the track and so he will have to spend like five seconds to actually revive himself to the swamp point and you have that five seconds to go ahead and win the, the mini games right so um, um, we can uh, use these uh, red sand blocks to mark out the uh, the uh, the range of the items that it will affect i think this is the, the the real range of the item so if your opponent are standing in these blocks in front of you then you can hit him he or she right he, he, right so uh, if the pick is over here and I'm over here I would not be able to hit it but like I said so the range is not far but is usable if you are close to your opponent just knock them down like that oops right so that is our first items 
Right, so moving on to our second items, which is the the magic paper. I know, I know this is basically just a row of toilet paper, but for this tutorial, this is the this is called the magic paper, okay? So what does the magic paper do? Well, let's say you um, you are not uh, fast enough. Let's say your opponent is already or, or already at this step, like uh, at this step. So you are still here and you want to pass them, but if you jump normally, you will not be able to catch up with them. So then you pull out this magic paper, uh, this this magic roll of toilet paper, and as soon as you activate the ability of this item, you will get this effect right here. Oh wait, okay, this is the wrong, the wrong one, right? Uh, my bad. <laughs> it was in the toilet paper, so it was actually a magic carrot that I want to show you guys first, right? So, uh, just forget about the. The, 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 the toilet paper for now we will talk about the magic carrot so like I said if your opponent is over there and you want to catch up with uh, them so you don't want to jump normally because uh, you will not be able to surpass them right you use the magic carrot and what the, 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 the magic carrot does is it will give you this ability of um, uh, traveling inside the uh, bubble so if you have played mini world for long enough and you know this bubble effect the bubble will uh, allow you to float in the air for a certain amount of time and then when the time is up you will be dropped down again it is not a very like useful um useful ability in all the types of map but for a parkour maps this is the best ability you can use in the parkour map because you can fly around, you can control the direction you want to uh, fly to. So this is actually a very OP, an actually OP ability in a parkour maps, right? So as you can see, I can quickly surpass my opponent just with this ability. I can go through this step without any sweat and with only like five seconds maybe less right so that is the carrot the, the magic carrot okay so we know the magic broom is for knocking off people the magic carrot is for uh, uh like flying abilities now we will go back to the magic paper just keep in mind it's, it's a magic paper it's not a toilet roll paper so magic paper right magic paper will uh, just uh, give me a sec, I need to uh, get rid of this uh, pick. There we go. Okay, so now let's see what the magic paper does. Right, so the magic paper will... Uh, actually, we will use the, the mobs from yesterday, uh, the, the monster mob that will shoot you during the track. So we will place them on the yesterday step. So yesterday, I know yesterday we used Venom, but um, I changed it back to uh, Nezuko. <laughs> so if, if if you know Nezuko, yes, this this is Nezuko. So but technically Nezuko is a monster, but um, she's a cute one. So <laughs> right. So now we have Nezuko on both sides. So if you have watched yesterday class. You will know that these um, monster, these custom monster, will actually shoot you off the track if you stop anywhere on the step, right? So like, they are, they already start aiming for you, but when you jump here, they will start shooting you down like that, right? So uh, if I want to uh, go through this step without any difficulty, what can I do? I have the magic toilet paper. Oh no, magic paper, right? Not toilet paper, right? So uh, I will use the magic paper for this step. I mean, you can still go through it um, if you have uh, a good parkour skill. But if you use this ability, you will go through it even faster. Why? I will show you why. So 
instead of the uh, magic carrot it gives you the ability to fly over a step the magic paper not toilet paper the magic paper gives you the, the uh, ability to be invincible in a certain amount of times just enough for you to get through the, the step so if I test it out right here I use the magic paper as you can see the shoe around my character that is an invincible shoe and five seconds later it disappears so when you have this invincible shoe all of the monster will ignore you it's like they don't even see you if you have the shoe, the, the shoe on and even if they actually see you they cannot attack you so the shoe is actually very OP <laughs> Is this the most OP ability in like all the types of maps? And you usually only get this shoe when you uh, revive from uh, uh, like that, the cause of that. Anything you revive and you have like a shoe for like five seconds and, and it's gone. But today we'll, we, we will learn how to like activate the skill with just uh, an items. And you can use any items, it doesn't have to be this magic paper okay right so we have um, discovered three of the uh, items here the, about the abilities so now we have uh, the magic gun so the magic gun so this this is the tricky part okay the magic gun actually shoot out like a special type of bullet I don't know if it's shooting any bullets right now Oh wait, I need to change back to animal. So this magic gun actually shoot out a special made bullet, right? So as you can see, it shoot out a beam gun, like a custom bullet. So what does the bullet do? Wait, I didn't know it was get stuck like this. So hold on, we will use this. I believe if we use this, it will erase these. I might be wrong. Okay, it didn't erase this. So how exactly can I erase this? Right. So um, maybe something was wrong with the uh, plugin. So let me just quickly check it. So we have the. Uh, Charging mode. Nope, we don't need this. We have gravity. We already set this to mode. Okay, zero. We have a disable. Try every day. Creature and blocks. I don't see what uh what is wrong with this um, item, but usually the um, oh it disappear. Okay, that's weird. Wait, wait. Does it? Okay, so it's. It will not disappear, but why? That's 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 just weird. Oh well, I don't know why, but um, it doesn't disappear. But anyway, so as you can see, if I shoot this um, custom make uh, bullet to the mobs, it doesn't do anything. It just kill them, but. Um, um, like in the parkour maps, uh, like all of these items are meant to use for players only. So actually, this uh, custom-made bullets have a really cool effect that I will show you. Just in a minute, I just need to um, set this to a really slow speed because uh, because there's there's no other players in the tutorial maps right now. So if I want to show you guys what this uh, bullet does I need to shoot this thing at myself okay <laughs> I would try it and shoot this at myself so if I just do it like this and oh it work <laughs> right so as you can see I'm now I'm no chicken and why I'm a chicken I cannot use other items oh wait let me just do that again and I'm a chicken Right, so I cannot use all the item while I'm a chicken. I believe that my running speed is slower. Also, my jumping um, height is a bit lower as well. So, again, turn me to 
a chicken. There we go. All right. So while you're a chicken, you cannot use any items. You cannot um, eat anything in your shortcut bar or use anything in your shortcut bar. And also you are slower and you doesn't jump as high as you were when you are human. So you already get the, 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 the idea, right? So you, you use this gun, you shoot as an enemy player and then it would turn them into a chicken for like a certain amount of time and when they are a chicken you actually can do certain things like you can actually run past them really easy you can actually kill them with just uh, uh, like some hit because a chicken have really low HP so I don't know where my HP bar is right now hold on do I even have oh wait I need to change to the playable so as you can see wait my HP bar is still a hundred okay that's 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 strange but all right so uh, like I said if you are a chicken you are at a disadvantage compared to a player with no uh, disadvantage like uh, turning into a chicken you are definitely going to be left behind on the parkour track so okay I just dropped down great um, so this is the magic gun and it turned your opponents into a chicken for a certain amount of time uh, actually you can do all kind of um, animals you can do a count a pick I mean any animals you can think of in mini world you can do it so that is the four items and yeah that's that's really much all the magic items we are going to go through today but I actually said that there will be five items so the fifth item is not an items on your shortcut bar okay the fifth items is this uh, teleport uh, teleport uh, door right here teleport machine teleport uh, void tracks I don't know so like as you can see the the track here have a uh, two uh, you have two um, two paths you can choose from so like if you choose this path it will be easy because it's only like two square up uh, to swear away from each other but it will be longer but if you choose to take this path it is way shorter but at the same time it will be a lot harder to jump on because this is four square four four blocks away and you only have uh, like two little blocks to plan on but if you are success like if you did if you do this right and you go in this right here Wait, I need to set this up. Uh, I need to uh, set this up to add transfer destination. There's no transfer destination. That's weird. This is transfer point one. It should be another transfer destination. Wait, and this one is not working. Wait, weird. It's okay. I I I will just. Uh, make a new transfer destination right so we need this um, we need this transfer core and then we need the um, again the energy uh, blocks so can we oh my god I'm a chicken again <laughs> so five seconds and then I will replace the new uh, uh, all right here we go uh, this here and this all right, we have our transport point. Now we can actually do the example here, right? Right, we add a destination transfer point three, right? So now we have this connect. We can actually teleport from here to the other door. What the heck? That was a not that that was not a good trans teleport. Because I actually dropped out, so um, how can we how how can we fix this? Well, um, maybe if I use this. So if you you haven't know, you can use uh, this uh, 
what is this lock con the transfer blocks to actually limited the the teleport zone you will be teleport to like this right so now if we try it again we might just get it right so let's say you have successfully jump through this uh, difficult track right here and you land here then you just go through this teleport door oh my god it still teleport you here that's that's weird but okay so how can I fix this well it's actually not hard I, I just need to uh, like expand the, uh, the, the platform but uh, yeah, I think I should just expand the platform for this example. I think now, now we are good. So we don't need this anymore. Right, so you can already see what the teleport do, right? So it take you through this step very fast, like just in an instant. But you need to go through a very hard like um, path to actually get through uh, the teleport door right here. And there you go so if you want to take a risk and if uh, the player want to take the risk and to uh, turn the table with the opponent they can take the the hard track and then go in the teleport door to teleport themselves to the next step in just a second right so that is the the only item that will not be on your shortcut bar and you can easily set it up with uh, only two blocks which is this transfer core blocks and the lithium blocks you can find this transfer core blocks in the edit tab right here and so you just play it down and you um, place the uh, energy blocks next to, next to it and as soon as you see this effect appear it means is active so you click on the core blocks right here you just add a transfer destination you click ok confirm and then you can transfer or teleport yourself to that destination with this block you can also name your destination here like uh, destination 1 or you can also add some uh, Notify, uh, notify with the destination like uh, step I don't know 20 right so you can name them to easily recognize which like uh, spot it is if you have a lot of transfer blocks around the Paco maps so uh, just another extra information if you have a lot of like this transfer uh, teleport blocks right here it will make the map actually laggier if you have a lot of them but if you only have like two four six it will not affect much of your gameplay and you actually can create like a great shortcut for the players to actually take the risk and turn the table so yeah so this is the only items today that you will not need to set up with uh, plugins so just with regular blocks to have in the maps so there you go so about the, these uh, four magic items so actually five because uh, this include the magic fruit as well we will talk about them how to actually make them and I will give you some more uh, like a bit more advanced knowledge about uh, uh, advanced plugins and yeah so pretty much we will work on that outside of the tutorial map we will work on it in the Look in menus right here. Um, go to props, and then we uh, will we will um, start with uh, maybe I, I I should just uh, start from uh, making these item again instead of just showing you what they are. So let's just click add. You click add. You click new. You click on create new props and you click on the, the plus sign again because you want to create something completely new from scratch then you will pick from these uh, type of items so if you want to make like the magic broom the magic uh, paper <laughs> or the magic uh, carrot you will choose this the, uh, the mix yes 
and if you want to make the magic gun you click on this one firearm you want to make the magic uh, ammo that turn the enemies into a chicken you click on the ammo one right so we will start with the, the magic room magic carrot and magic paper so you just click on this selection here right so now you will name your items for us so let's say I want to create the broom so I name magic broom uh, v2 version 2 okay so we go to model we click on this and then we go to um, miniature library and you go to uh, I mean if, if, if you use a download model you will always find it in the default folder okay right so in the default folder as you can see these items here it has this uh, arrows icon here so it it show that this item was not built by me it was from the miniature library right so so maybe instead of the broom now I can make uh, anything else actually I can make a tennis racket, a magic bone. Is it? No, I don't know what this is. This is a magic stick, All right? So maybe just stick with the broom. So now we have the broom insert, and then we can you can add description for the players to read. Like uh, this, uh, this items will knock your opponents of the track so you just need like a briefly description for the players to know what the item does what is it like abilities before they use it right so there we have the description we go to attribute um, actually no we don't need to set anything in the attribute so go to the skill section this is the uh, this is the main part of creating like items with special effect right so what you want to do with this is you want to click on new item skill and you want to select this one this uh buff one click on that you click on edit now you click on the the buff effect here and you will see you have a bunch of um, different type of effect in mini world the red one is the uh, disadvantage effect. The blue one, or the, the green one here. What is I say blue? The green effects are the benefits one. This is the disadvantage one, and the uh, one in this section is the uh, neutral, uh, neutral effect. So these we will also be going through, but uh, mainly will be this disadvantage one right so we are making the we, we, we are making the broom right wait the broom <laughs> right so my bad the broom is not this the broom you just need to select the power strike so this one is for the magic toilet paper you you seen earlier and the magic carrot this one is actually for the broom so you click on this and click on edit um, now you can see the setting right here the knockback and the blow up force the knockback is how far you will send your opponent flying backward the blow up is how far you will send your opponent fly, fly like uh, upward so you want them to uh, fly off the track so you will raise this somewhere around like 32 yeah 32 and you need to keep this as around 5 because if you don't actually knock them up a bit they will not go really far so like if you set this as 0 your uh, opponent will not be flying very far so just keep this as 5 right so skill type no target charge mode um set it uh you set it to uh, non-charge mode 
uh, the cooldown time is how long they can use the item again so you can actually decide it uh, by yourself try to think of like how to make like the item is not uh, not a game breaker item but like a balance item that the player can use it once in a while to actually turn the table but actually not use it all the time like spam it so maybe keep this as five seconds for now just an example you guys can pick what whichever uh, cooldown time you feel like it is more suitable for your maps um, target team yeah this is not necessary this this one is necessary so make sure the range if you set the range to single target this will only affect yourself because single target mean one target and when you use it you will be the only target of the items so you you don't want this to be one you want this to be um, a beam range so a beam range is uh, uh, an area of with the width and the length if you set this to an area you will have also the height but you only need the uh, the beam range so I ideally you will need to set this to 5 and 5 so this means that if uh, the person is around you around uh, one to two blocks like i showed you earlier you can hit them with the skill that will send them flying if you set this to 10 and 10 it will be like a three to four blocks around you so make sure you have this somewhere five this one also five i ideally five right so hungry level um, the hungry level is for like once they use the items they will lose some hunger point but in this case we don't need to apply that to our parkour maps right so click ok and you have the broom ready you just need to click save and return and then you add the broom to your maps so again we can test out the uh, the, ver the version 2 of our magic broom to see if it works exactly like the the original version of the magic broom so here we have we will have the uh, pick again this is the version 2 broom as you can see we have the description here so the players will know what the items does and then we can send the players flying with this ability right so as you can see it worked exactly like the uh, original version of the broom and if you change this to play mode you actually see that the magic broom actually have a cooldown so it's five second cooldown it's also five seconds so it means you cannot use it like as often as you want to you need to wait for five second to use it again the cooldowns to make the game balance and not just uh, game breaking items okay all right so make sure you have uh, a cooldown time it can be three seconds can be 10 seconds depends on what your maps is uh, is like what you want the player to uh, experience your maps like so there you go we done with the broom next um the magic paper and the magic carrot so which ones should we go through first i mean they they are quite similar on how to make them let's go with the magic toilet paper okay i mean um magic paper <laughs> right so now we go to the plug-in menus again we go to props and we will go to uh, add again add new same as the the broom create we will select uh, new uh, mix go to model go to miniature library select the toilet paper model <laughs> this is actually very well built 
as you can see this side is look way brighter than this side which makes sense right so now we can name it magic uh, paper <laughs> Wait, my chick paper v2 Is that how you uh wait I, I just need to check this quickly So we go to uh, this right here We go out uh give me a sec Oh I see all right, my bad. Hold on, this is not right. Uh, paper, right, version 2. Now we can set the uh, description for it. Uh, give you the... Uh, um, give you the... Uh, invisible... Invis uh, invisible... Shoe. No, not shoe, shoe. For... Uh, 5 seconds. Yeah, five seconds. Let's do five seconds. Right. So now we've done with that. Go to skill. Like we can actually skip the attribute step. Go to skill. You can go to new item skill, and then we choose both. Uh, like I said, you have a bunch of uh, uh, effect in mini worlds. You can throw. Uh, you can pick from. If you want to select the invisible skill one, it is here in the beneficial uh, effect go down to the uh, the bottom and you will see full life or the life protect these two are actually the same thing okay it will give you the invisible shoe that will prevent monster from attacking you so you can choose either the full life one or the revive no the, the real life protect so let's go with this one duration so in the description i said five seconds so i will also put five seconds here this one you want to keep it at a hundred percent because like if you lower it down this means that you will not always get the effect you only have like a certain chance to get the book alright so get it to a hundred percent then we go to um, we skip this we go to non charm mode again so like if you get the invisible um, shield for five seconds is only reasonable if the cooldown time is higher than that so maybe 10 seconds 20 seconds or even 30 seconds it depends on how you want to set the items to be not broken okay so i just do uh like 10 seconds because uh i don't want to wait too long to show you guys the example Right, so for the range again, you want to change to beam and... Tr oh wait, no. Ah, oh, so you want the buff to be uh, applied on yourself. So like I said, if you want something to happen to only you, you will change this to a single target. This means that only you will get the, the buff and not everyone else around you, okay? Then you will confirm and you are done with the magic toilet paper. Toilet roll paper and we will just quickly test this out we have the original magic paper now we have the magic paper version 2 that i just show you guys how to create and actually let's go down here let's summon nezuko to help us out and place nezuko here and we change this to play mode we use the magic paper and she can't even see us or attack us anymore and now I use the toilet paper version 2 as you can see it's the same effect I will be invincible for five seconds before she real she realized that I'm here again so uh, this is very OP as you can see oh yeah but um, just keep in mind that if you um, if you have the shoe on and you try to attack someone you will lose the shield effect so make sure if you have the shield don't don't rush in and attack anyone it will uh, erase your invincibility uh, I mean it will erase the, the buff that you currently have which is the invisible shield right so oh wait edit mode and oh wait 
Wait, I need to uh, remove Nezuko. Sorry, Nezuko, but uh, <laughs> I need to quickly remove you from the maps. Right there, you go. So now we finish the broom. We finish the um, magic paper. Now we can go on and build our magic carrot items. Go out again. We go to the plugin menus. The magic carrot actually is quite similar to the magic paper. So you just quickly go through all the steps of the magic paper again. You just put in the models. You just name it. What the heck? <laughs> I didn't know that the carrot moved like this. It's just weird. <laughs> Oh well, so let's name it the Magic Carrot Oh wait, Carrot, not Carrot Carrot Okay V2 uh, This item will um, give you the floating I mean, I, I would call it floating, not flying because uh, you actually uh, trap in the uh, a, a bubble and you just float on the, the sky. So give you the floating ability uh, ability for uh, again five seconds. I think five seconds is more than enough. Wait, five seconds. Right. So skip the attribute. Go to skill. Just like the magic toilet paper, we choose the buff one. Go to edit and we want to look for the bubble effect so it's actually not in the harmful effect uh, the harmful effect section it's actually in the neutral uh, neutral effect uh, section is right here as you can see bubble so we have bubble level one and bubble level two so in my uh, uh, from what i know the bubble level one and bubble level two is actually just one effect but the bubble level 2 will actually last longer than the bubble level 1 effect but you can pick either of these because you can set the time that the effect will last for so bubble level 1 and you can set this to 5 second 10 second or as long as you want it to be so 5 second and same as the magic paper non char mode Cool now 10 you can set to 30 20 sec uh, this is the single target because we want it to happen to ourselves just ourselves so single target and confirm so there we go we have the carrot version 2 magic carrot version 2 we can test it out right now the version 2 and the original version we switch to play mode and now for the the original version we already know it oh wait the original version actually give you a bubble for 10 seconds but it's, it's still the same you can you can change the effect time as you please so the version 2 give you the buff for 5 seconds which is just enough for you to get past the step right so that's it the magic carrot very OP effect in parkour and now we are left with only one item which is the uh, magic gun and in order to create a magic gun that turn your opponent into a chicken you also need to create the magic fruit i mean the the, the custom ammo for the the gun so uh, right so again we will need to go to the plug-in menu since you can already understand how to make the item like the plug-in items you will not find this very difficult at all so you just click add new you click on create plus side and you want to make a gun so you actually don't click on this but instead you click on firearm click ok you click on the miniature library select your models uh, we will have the magic gun v v2 Uh, shoot out no no wait wait turn your opponent 
into a chicken for five seconds right so we now have that we can uh, go to uh, oh this is very well built I actually have already built a gun like this before but this is actually very well built right so go to skill section we go to new item skill again uh, wait no 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 we, we don't need the skill because this is gun we go to attribute uh, we want to set the damage of the gun to zero fire rate to uh, you can keep it like that this one we will we will um, edit this uh, selection here after we have create the magic ammo okay the bullets you actually can limit the bullets of this item if you want to if you don't want to limit the bullet for the player you can set it to uh, infinite ammo like finite ammo uh yeah finite ammo if you set it to uh infinite max i believe wait this is oh yeah you need to set this to infinite ammo for the players to use the gun without any ammo needed let's so wait uh i think that's all you need for the gun so add that and now you will create this uh, magic ammo that turn your opponent into a chicken so you actually don't want to click on this you want to click on ammo and you click on miniature i use that uh i use the uh icon model because i didn't have another model for the uh, ammo but you can actually use anything you want like an egg uh, a fireworks anything at all so i would just use uh maybe rotten mix i don't know maybe uh yeah let's do the egg right so um this one you actually don't need to uh add any description because the player will not be able to see the description of the the item so you just need to um name it whatever you want and go to attribute shot um, you turn this off you don't need that single shot uh, maybe no gravity for the bullet to not slow down when you shoot it uh, international speed you can set it to uh, as slow as you want it to be or as fast you want it to be in other things nope go to skill now we will set up the uh, effect of turning your opponent into a chicken so go to buff again go to um, uh, the uh, neutral effect and you will see this uh, right here wait no not yeah a chicken level one oh i become a chick so this is turn uh turn someone into a chicken and you can also use a uh, a boon turns someone into a boon or a sheep i believe there's also a pig is it a demon what the heck i mean i'm not really that surprised but i mean i was out there is so you can turn your opponent into uh, a lot of different type of animals even an angle so just for this uh, tutorial i will use the chicken and for maybe five or ten seconds so if you set this to 10 seconds then maybe you will use a oh wait there's no uh, cooldown time for this uh, this one also single target because you want to uh, um, turn the one player that got hit by the bullet right so yeah that's pretty much all for the magic uh, ammo save you add the magic ammo in click on your gun and you just uh, edit this selection here choose the custom lock in ammo right and then save now you are good to go so where is the version 2 there is so now i should be able to shoot out x instead of pinecon let's see is it is it x oh yeah okay that's that's pretty weird maybe it 
it, it, it was a mind setting but the pine cone actually won't disappear after you shoot it like oh my god oh well so like I said this is how you uh, create a gun that actually shots um, a bullet that turn your opponent into a chicken I will show you how to uh, create advanced custom effect for parkour maps you will go to the plugin menus and you go to status yes status status yes new create uh, plus sign so this is how you create a new uh, effect like a custom effect right so you can enter the effect name let's say um, uh, how to uh, be handsome effect yeah I think that's that's a good name right so description make you more handsome I mean this is just an example there's there's no effect that can make you more handsome in the game okay so you can then choose the effect icon uh, you can pick whichever one is available here so let's say I want to pick this one I can then I can also add in uh, uh, hi hey uh, wait some some people just join I mean we are currently at the um, uh, maybe it's close to the end of the section but hey welcome to the stream if you miss the, the the class or the previous class, don't worry because I will create a record version of it later and you can watch it in the playlist that I create on my channel. So make sure you can check it out later. Right, so um, now you can add in some special effect if you want to like this. So when you have this effect trigger, you will also have this uh, cool splashy uh, effect see and if you want to add a sound effect you can also do that right now I want to pick some type of uh, like this I don't know cuz uh, alright so uh, that is how your effect will look like and sound like and uh, then you go to effect you will uh, want to wait yeah, effect you want to add the effect so what does this effect do of course is not going to make you more handsome like the description that I type out <laughs> but there's a tons of things you can do in here and you cannot do with just a uh, original effect of mini world you have to create the custom one for these to work right so we have the vision brightness it will make your screen brighter or darker we have the moving speed this is normal if you want to uh, raise moving speed you can always eat a uh, roast uh, chicken this one is digging speed this one is the damage the jump this one are normal but uh, there's some special one here like this one this one will help you to recover your hunger point through time and this one will actually help you recover your HP through times so let's say every one second your HP will regenerate by 10 it's like uh, the vampire ability so if you want to create a vampire effect you can use this one and we have the uh, keep getting injured so like uh, it's, well, it is the opposite from this one you will lose HP through time uh, injurado uh, hunger speed this is uh, luck this uh, when you dig something and you have the chance to get double the research um, the knockback so when you hit someone they will fly back this is the knockback resistant this is oxygen how long you can stay in the water uh, this will technically create uh, uh, an invincible HP bar uh, invincible extra HP bar for you to absorb some damage this is the um, melee attack I mean any type of attack this one is uh, the knock up so not knock back but when you hit the player they will fly up the sky this one is uh, add special effect like burning poisoning or anything you have available in media to your normal attacks so you can like become uh, like super human 
to uh, like just burn someone with normal attack you can use this to do that this one is um, add in your defense status to be you can become more t you can become tougher this one is uh, the reflect damage this one is interesting because when you when you uh, when you uh, get damage yourself you will actually reflect some of the damage to the the dealer of that uh, damage sword right so we also have generous special effect down here these are even cooler effect you can apply to your custom uh, custom plugin effect right, so let's say this one is mode of volume this is how big or small you can become so like if you set this to um, very small number you will be able to turn yourself very small I can show you this one in a second because I actually have already set up this one in my maps for one of the characters so we will go back to that and change the mode this is like turn you into any type of animals chicken cow pig and this one is confused this one is invincible it's just like the invincible shoe but there's no shoe this time it's just invincible this one is bubble is this the same bubble that help you float in the sky this one is freeze this one is very op like for uh, oh yeah for Paco maps you can also apply this one because normally effect like slow uh, slow player down or the freezing effect in the uh, normal effect section it only reduce your moving speed by a total of 75% maximum why this effect actually make the player freeze they cannot even move they have to stand still and so this is very OP if you want to make something like Zawado or like a uh, what else can you make with freezing time? I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with this, but just keep in mind this is a very OP effect because they can't move, they just stand still. Right, so um, this last one is a uh, glam the wand. Yes, this is also a very, very, very convenient effect in Parkour Map. So if you have this effect uh, applied to you, you can actually go straight up the wand, uh, any type of wand. So this one actually, I will test this one out for you guys because this one's actually really good. Uh, how can I apply the effect? Well, uh, I can uh, add it in the map and I can go to my items here. I can change the effect of the magic toilet paper to my custom effect how to become handsome but it's actually just clamping one okay so now we dream we, we know that the magic toilet paper give us the how to become handsome effect and so we use it uh how can i show you guys what the effect does well let's say we have this right here so normally you will not be able to go up this but if you have this effect on you can just go straight up like this so as you can see this effect is very very convenient for Paco Mask. let's say you are standing right here and you want to uh, go to here so let's change to play mode and you use this effect you can even go like this yeah you, you can go on the side of it like this oh wait time's up yep so that is what the one clamping effect does very good very convenient also very game breaking like very broken effect for Paco maps so make sure if you allow your player to use the one clamping effect you have to uh, place invisible block carefully to prevent them from uh, cheat their way out of the step or out of the map so make sure you place your invisible blocks like logically okay right so um, about the uh, the going big and small effect and the time frozen effect you can both check those effects 
out in my class of hero maps as you can see we go here and we go to um, where is it there's so many things right now so we need to see this one so this one is electric this job later paralyze surrounding targets so when you use this the enemies actually will be paralyzed at one spot all right so the big and small custom effect is on Ant-Man this side down effect I will show you how small you can become in mini world if you haven't tested it out you can actually become like really really small to the point that you will be invincible because nothing can actually hit you anymore so in order to do that I need to become Ant-Man where is he all right there is Ant-Man right so Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ant Man right here becomes small. Um, wait, not that. This one, yeah. So, as you can see, <laughs> I'm at so I was smaller than the ant right here. Let's do that again. Yes, I, I was smaller than the ant right here. <laughs> Hold on, I will show you guys what it looks like. No, let's show it. There we go. Hi. <laughs> and on the opposite, yes, I also can become really big, just like this. You can actually become even bigger, but um, sometimes if you go above like uh, the 20 uh, limit of the uh, model size you will start experiencing some lag in your gameplay so just keep that in mind right so uh, this is ant-man and i believe thanos is somewhere right there there, there there he is oh my god wait can he actually see me when i'm this small oh dang so like thanos can see you even if you are that small so if you remember when there was the uh, Marvel Endgame movie, people keep like spreading the uh, rumor that uh, Ant Man can actually kill, uh, like actually defeat Thanos by uh, turning super small and go into his ear or something. But as you can see, that won't work. <laughs> Thanos can still see you, uh, can still spot Ant Man even when he's turned like oh my god small so yeah now you know that the rumor is not true at all but hey normal players will not be able to hit you if you are this small just uh, Thanos okay because he is Thanos right so I actually cannot defeat Thanos with Ant-Man because Ant-Man is not meant to uh, uh, to be boss fighting not at all so you guys can try and defeat him in the uh, class of heroes map that I created right right so beside that we actually done for today's section we actually go through all of the special items that will make your gameplay of Paku maps more competitive and stand out from the previous Paku maps because you know all it gives you from the uh, previous Paku maps is uh, the uh, revival uh, re revival scroll the uh, chicken the, the bread and sometimes they give you some other types of food which I don't know why you need that but hey if you can add in more items you should add in like special effect items instead of you know food and drinks that they what they probably won't use in the Paco maps so yeah one more last thing should I sh wait should I uh, show you that desk? wait no okay so that is for for next week class so yeah pretty much this is all we have go through after four mini learning camp class and hopefully you can already get uh, a good idea of how to create uh, a great Paku maps and then you can start making one of your own 
try to uh, attend for the uh, uh, mini learning camp map building uh, Hoku map building event and win some prize with the, non the knowledge that you got so just don't mind me <laughs> I'm just cleaning up this uh, stay right so that is that is actually it for the um, for the class today so if you have any question any question at all you can ask me in the chat and I will uh, try my best to answer it well of course you have to ask me in English because there's no way I will be able to understand you if you don't speak English right so I can check and see if there's another code yes there's another code available right so actually there is another code here it is the same uh, seven day carol skin code right so before I pop up this code if you already had the chance to uh, insert the previous code in the class then maybe you can give this chance to other players because they are just a bit slower I mean you you can if you want to and if, if you don't I, I just don't know how to, to, to tell you not to but like I said I hope that you can share it with others because the code is only for two players to enter it in and if you already have the previous code then you should share it with others so here I will pop up this code on the screen and there you go so that will be might be the last code for today class Right, so I will give you guys a moment to try and um, race for it. Right, so I wonder if uh, if Senpai Ellen is doing anything right now. So if you guys haven't know, <laughs> um, my name is Arthur and I'm a member of the Recreator team. Uh, I mean if you haven't know I can show it to you guys because I literally have the team picture here. Well this is Beatin, this is Recreator team, these are the four original members. Uh, we have Arthur, we have Team, we have uh, Soka, we have Ellen. And so maybe right now Ellen Senpei is playing something. I will quickly check it. Let's see if he's playing anything. Okay, so if you're wondering why I follow these people, well these are the original developer, the first five developers of Mini World. Uh I don't know why this one is oh yeah, this one is this is Harper uh, maybe you don't need to know who Harper is but Harper was one of the most hardworking admins of Mini World who was actually guiding me through everything before I even became a developer so now she is not working at uh, Mini World anymore so yeah it'll be sad but um, I want to check what Ellen Senpai is doing so is he playing anything <laughs> I still remember this one this is funny right so uh, how can I see if he's playing anything Real detail no I guess I can only know if he's playing anything if I friend him like the reason why we don't friend each other even though we are in the same team because we save some slot for uh, our fans to actually become friends with 
us in the game but you know there's still a limit to how many friends you can get so right now my friends is full and I can't really accept any more requests so that's unfortunate let's see if he's playing anything right now let's look up his ID uh, oh wait he is playing something <laughs> and this is a parkour map this is exactly wait what there's a password for it <laughs> what is the password does does anyone knows the password to Sentai Ellen's room? I mean, he's streaming right now in the Vietnamese uh, mini learning camp class. So, if you're a Vietnamese player, can you somehow go to the his live stream and maybe find out what is the password to this room? Because there's only five people in the room right now. But there's a password to it, so I'm a bit confused. Like, why do you put a password? So, big game room, 20 person PC room, and you put a password. That's just, that's just not good. Anyway. Oh, oh, you can join the mid game. That is why it have only five players. Okay, that sucks. Right anyway. Uh if you look at this you will know that I used to be a critics, a level two critics, but uh because I was a bit busy with building and creating contents for you guys, I stopped working as a critics. I mean, I can still give you critics advice, but I cannot actually promote your your maps. If you are new to me, or you you haven't know what a critics is, it is these people they uh, go and they review your creation and they give their comments on it, and the comments of critics will always pop up on the top section of the comments uh, tabs. So yeah. Oh, thank you. So right, we we still have the actually it is the uh, end time of the class, but I mean today was not a lot of speaking tutorials. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, did learn something. Although it's not a lot of tutorial today, and I hope you guys have fun watching the live stream hope you guys get some reward maybe not this time maybe next time because there will be still a lot of rewards throughout the course two six one two but uh you cannot join mid game right oh wait the room is closed so I guess we cannot join anymore. <laughs> I mean, I I can message uh uh Alan Senpai to ask if he he is opening any other rooms so that I can join. But I think maybe we can save it for another time. Maybe we will open a room together and you guys can join. Maybe, right? So. If you missed the previous class, you can always watch the record in my uh, playlist on my channel. Uh, 